I love this song. If you guys haven't discovered Maitre Gims yet, I strongly, strongly recommend that you check him out. He is just, I mean, his voice is like butter going all over your body. So yeah. So a couple of things I wanted to put out there today is that I was thinking, why am I doing this? And for those of you that um, watched the Netflix show Grace and Frankie, if you haven't checked it out, I really recommend that you check it out because it's it's one of those shows that kind of like gives you a view into what your life can be in the future. And I swear to you, I am going to be Frankie when I'm 70 years old. Like that is life goals right there. And I was watching with my best friend. She's like, oh yeah, I'm Grace. I'm like, this is why we're friends. And actually we were in a video together. You can check it out. It's the one where she, we were doing face masks, Korean face masks. So check that video out. And um, so if you ever saw that they were doing like this introspection and they were like trying to figure out what it was that was deep inside of them that was like not allowing them to move forward and they started talking into their phones and I guess on some level that's what vlogging is you're talking well you're talking into the universe and hoping that so you'll you'll get some kind of answer clarity back and one thing I've been really struggling with lately is finding balance in my life um, like <clears throat> the kind of balance that you get when everything is in its place. I was watching this one YouTuber and I'm gonna actually make a video about my favorite YouTubers and this girl, like she really kind of hits the spot about the things that... Damn it. Sorry, got a little bit cut off yesterday. Um. I can't believe I'm actually standing outside in a t-shirt. There's still some snow. But oh, it's springtime. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but like the winter, I just want to I just can't. I can't handle the winter time. I get the blues. I start feeling just ugh, completely just zero interest in doing anything. And that's like a really big thing that I want to conquer for my, this year basically. And another thing that is really, really important to me that I want to kind of get once I starting to work out every day. They say that, ooh, my hair looks gray. They say that working out for at least 20 minutes every day really it's supposed to not only make you healthier but happier and kind of allow you to do that like whole balance thing for lack of a better word and that's my goal so i think you guys will be on that path with me because i mean if i'm feeling this way there must be other people out there feeling this way too like how hard is it for you guys to kind of get yourselves in that mode because so my day is a little bit atypical i can't do the nine to five thing i've tried it not for me um my creativity kind of goes down the drain and i i just feel like like a robot where I'm waking up going to work doing what I need to do then come home and then I'm just like I just, I just go to sleep I have no power no nothing so what I do, what I've been doing for the last year is um, teaching I teach with VIP kid if you guys haven't checked them out you could look at the link below it's one of the coolest things out there today um, basically you make your own schedule and you, I don't know about everyone else, but I feel so fulfilled. I teach kids. I feel like I make a difference every single day. And that's like kind of what I'm striving for in my life. I just want to be able to make some kind of difference. Like if I, did you guys ever get that feeling that if you die tomorrow, what will people remember? What's going to be left? Is it just 
yeah, Danny was a great person. Or will someone remember saying like, she made a difference in my life. I didn't know English before, now I do. Danny's the one that taught me. And the moment where I realized that that's, that's what I'm able to do with VIP Kid is when I had a review, uh, actually had a, a parent write that Danny's not one of my daughter's favorite teachers. She's my daughter's favorite teacher. She's the reason she comes to class. And it really, it hit me that I'm, I'm making a difference. This child realizes that like, I, I'm doing something for them. I'm doing something more. And that's the other reason why I, I think I mentioned this already, that why I want to do naturopathy. Because I want to change something. I want to make a difference. The way my naturopath made a difference in my life, I want to be able to do that for someone else. Like what if someone's being diagnosed with something and their doctor gives them a form of treatment like I was given that they're not comfortable with. Like I was not comfortable with being induced with menopause, even though it was temporary menopause at the age of 24. Like I wasn't comfortable with that. What if someone else is that's happening to them? And I want to be able to say, hey, no, wait, there's a, other, something else you can do. You can try something else. So that's why, that's why I'm doing this. And so basically I wake up at 4.45 in the morning because I'm on the East Coast and I'm teaching kids in China and I teach until 10 a.m. And so I haven't been sleeping well. That's the other thing I want to conquer. So figure out why I'm not sleeping well and what it is that I can do about that. Um, and I, what I did last early summer, like late fall, I mean late spring, early summer was I would wake up, teach and go straight to the gym. Now I'm, it's like it's cold and I'm kind of like still not 100% in my energy mode. I think I'm still in a bit of hibernation. And because I'm not sleeping well, I kind of just go back to sleep for two hours and I wake up around um, noon and then I start my day. And I've always thought that like, okay, if I don't take a shower and I put on my workout clothes, then I can work out. But I kind of feel like, okay, it's noon. I got to take my shower and start my day. So... I, that's something I have to conquer. I have to figure out what it is that I'm going to do and how I'm going to be able to really get that workout in every single morning around 10 a.m. So yeah, I, oh, and I also have a, a pass that I bought to with the gym. Love this gym, but I haven't been able to get my butt there yet on the to-do list. So yeah, that's, that's my number one plan. And in my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I learned from this awesome blogger actually she's a vlogger she will she has like a youtube channel um where she kind of makes these like short videos and her name is anna akana you have to check her out if you guys don't know her you absolutely have to check her out she's amazing and she basically you know how people make resolutions well this was like a life resolution and in different part of your life what it is that you're missing what is it you want to achieve so that's what i want to do and i'll show you guys how we're going to go about that next week oh foof next week in the next vlog gosh okay and then i'll show you guys how we can achieve that in the next vlog okay so thank you so much for for tuning in um if any of this resonates with you <laughs> make sure to like this video subscribe comment and yeah we're on this journey together and hopefully we'll We'll help you. We'll help each other out. That's the whole point of this. That's why I wanted to start this so that, you know, this is going to be like a family where we help each other out and that we're not alone. Because sometimes it can feel kind of lonely where you're like, shit, man, like, what am I doing with my life? I'm almost 30. What's happening? So, yeah, you're not alone. We're all feeling the same thing. All right. Stay awesome, guys. See you soon.